I don't think anyone would argue against the fact that owning a car is just innately stressful. You are taking an object, leaving it outside unattended on a regular basis in a place where it can very easily get damaged and just hoping that nothing happens to it. Neo has found a way to not only take the stress of owning a car and just take it all away, but also add a whole bunch of anxiety relieving restful enhancers and just toss those in. Neo starts small with the little features, like a deep lockable center console to put valuable items in. Dope, why don't all cars have that? That'd be really nice to have in LA when you've got a park near Skid Row. They've got their mobile power van that makes sure that you've always got a place to charge so you can't use the, well, I don't want to get stuck in the middle of nowhere, so I'll get another gas car excuse. They've got services I never would have even considered, like monitoring your car's vitals and proactively stepping in to say, hey, there's something wrong with your car. Can we come fix it? Seriously, that happened to Dennis before. Remember Dennis from the last video? He had a puncture in his tire that he didn't know about. They reached out to him and said, hey, we noticed your tire pressure is low. There might be an issue. Do you want us to come out and take a look at it? He wasn't home. So he said, sure. Authorized it on his phone, said, do whatever you need to do. They came on over, they fixed his tire, they sent him a video of the whole process, free, included with the insurance. Dennis also told me about this guy whose car got caught in the floods in Zhengzhou. And not only did they replace the whole car for free, but they also let him keep the software features that companies like Tesla take away from you. How ridiculous is that? Like, as a side rant, it is completely and utterly BS that if you buy, like, full self-driving for $10,000 and get a new car, they make you buy it again? Like, it's not tied to the account that you bought it on? Imagine if you had to rebuy all your apps every time you bought a new iPhone. That is such BS. It is raining and I am out of here. But it's not just the car that reduces anxieties. There's a lot more. I was blown away by the people who work for this company. It's normal for companies to have friendly customer service. It's not normal for companies to have customer service with incredible communication skills. Literally, I showed up here with a camera and said, hey, can I film here? So many places have turned me down, not even given me the chance to explain what for. Not Neo. They said, well, I can't directly give you permission, but here's the person to contact to get permission. Let him know, and then once he responds to you, you can come back and film. So I sent him an email, and here we are. But seriously, shopping in China is, on the one hand, it's amazing, because there's always customer service available, no matter what. But on the other hand, that same customer service is expected to be available all the time, no matter what. So that does result in a lot of, hi, um, I was wondering if uh, like you could tell me the difference between these two products? And they go, yeah, um, so this one is this price, and this one, uh, let me check, uh, is this price. And you're like, yeah, yeah no, but I want to know the difference between the two of them. Like, they look pretty similar, but, like, what, what's the difference? Um, well, they're not the same. Online, it's even worse. Here's an example. One time, I wanted to buy curtains. Outside my bedroom window, there's these really bright street lamps. They keep me up at night. However, I hate it when in the morning it's pitch black and I can't see that it's noon already. So I wanted curtains that would block most, but not all of the light. So I found curtains that say they block 95% of the light. Is that the right amount? Not really sure. Okay, let me ask. So I say, Hi, excuse me, I found this picture in the comments section. In the morning, I like it to be this way. But at night, my room has these lights outside. Another picture. I just need to block the light from these lights. Do you think these curtains fit the situation? He says, kiss. Yeah, for some reason that's what they call you in Taobao. It's polite, kiss kiss. It's more like that scripted crap type of politeness. Kiss, please wait and I'll help you take a look. He comes back. Kiss kiss, this product blocks 99% of the light. There won't be any visible light, pitch black. I say, but this picture in the comments shows that's absolutely not 99%. He says, we don't sell that product. Sometimes people will leave fake reviews to ruin our reputation. Relax, Kiss Kiss. Our store's quality is really very good. I guarantee it. If there's any problems, we will be responsible for it. Maybe, maybe that's true. 
maybe that's the case where people come in and leave fake comments because they want to ruin the reputation of the store. Fine, I can handle that. But where's the part where I said I want it to look like that and you're guaranteeing me that it will not look like that? Okay, then I don't want it. You just talked yourself out of a sale. At this point, I'd already given up and bought from another store, but that didn't stop him from sending me tons more messages. Cutie, you like to have people you like, and you also want to bring home stuff you like. Then he sent a sticker saying, are you gonna order it? You know, cause that's what I needed in order to order it. You just said that face to me and now I'm gonna buy it cause I wasn't before. Followed by more stuff about their greatness and their 15 day returns, followed by order it, cutie. Communication skills for the win. So at one point, Dennis was telling me about how they were receiving complaints about the comfortableness of their seat. Comfortableness? Comfortability? Whatever. The comfortableness of their seats. And so they just reached out to everyone and were like, give us your feedback. What do you think of the seats? And they took everyone's feedback and proposed a bunch of solutions. And then they were like, come on down to our whatever location and you can come try out the seats. If you like them, we'll replace them in your car and then you could just go away with new seats. What other company does that? Point being, my experience with Neo employees has been nothing similar to that. The ones that I talked to in the house were an absolute pleasure to talk to. I learned my master in Barcelona. How long were you there? Uh, nearly three years because of the coronavirus. She has a master's degree from Spain and she chose to work here. In fact, everyone I've met so far who works for Neo has surprised me with their qualifications, communication ability, and friendliness. Even the ones who didn't know that I was filming for this video. <laughs> the guy at the battery swap station even subscribed to my YouTube channel. You should too. A few weeks after filming all of this, Dennis mentioned to me that Shenzhen was having a coffee expo, and I didn't realize what I would find when I got there. Not only was, holy crap, look how many coffee companies there are in China. Jeez! But also, out of all the companies invited to set up a booth here, grinder companies, bean roasters, hey, yo, Captain. George, espresso machine manufacturers, a barista coconut milk place with own coconut forests, and Neo? Well, it makes sense. They're showing how stress-free it is to own a Neo, and what's more relaxing than sitting down with a cup of coffee? Even though they're not a coffee roaster or grower, they put a lot of effort into the coffee they serve at their houses. Side note, if you want to see more about this coffee expo, you can check out the companion video to this one. It's another 360 video of me just walking around the expo, and you can take a look. I also met the owner of an interesting coffee roaster called Honey Coffee. His story is coming in a later video, though. Now, I'm sure you're probably wondering, how much did Neo pay me to make this video? My answer to that question is, wouldn't it be awesome if they'd pay me to make this video? I mean, how often does a company approach you and they're like, I know you were willing to make this video for free, but we'll pay you. <laughs> I mean, if you want to pay me, Neo, I'm, I'm, I'm all hands. Is that an expression? No, they earned it. They genuinely earned it. Good job, Neo.